Hi, JK friends. It's Wonderful Wednesday, and today I'm going to read Five Little Monkeys Wash Their Car. I haven't read this one in a while, so it's going to be a, kind of like a opening a present, something that I forgot about and surprised. This page. Five little monkeys wash the car. Five little monkeys and mama can never drive far in their rickety, rattly trap wreck of a car. Oh, I've had it, said mama. Let's sell this old heap. She makes a big sign that says car for sale cheap. Then Mama goes in. There's some work I should do. Okay, say the monkeys. We have work too. This car is so icky, so stinky and slimy. How can we sell this old car that's so grimy? I know, says one little monkey. I know. So let's see. Bet you know what his idea is. What would you do? Wash it. That's what I'd do. So two little monkeys spray with a hose while three little monkeys scrub the car till it glows. But the car is so still rusty, it stinks. Oh, P, you. No one will buy it, what can we do? I know, says one little monkey. Hmm, this one, I don't know what her idea is, how to make it smell better. And it's rusty. How would you fix rust and how would you make it smell better? Hmm, air freshener? Let's see. Then four little monkeys find paint in the shed. Red and blue, red, sorry, <laughs> blue and yellow and green, purple, pink, and bright red. They paint the old car with designs all around while one little monkey sprays perfume he found. Oh, so they found paint in the garage and they found some perfume. They are really going to town on that car. The five little monkeys sit down and wait, but no one comes by and it's getting late. The car looks terrific. It smells so good too. Maybe no one can see it. What should we do? I know, says one little monkey. Hmm, I would think they need to move it and put it somewhere where everybody's gonna notice it. So three little monkeys start pushing the car. The monkey who's steering can't see very far. Then one little monkey shouts, park it right here. Wait, it's rolling too fast. Can't you stop? Can't you steer? The monkey who's steering can't reach the brake. The car rolls downhill to the, hmm, what rhymes with brake? Hmm, that could be at the bottom of the hill. Break, cake, or how about lake? Let's see. <gasps> the brown swampy lake. Well, we're in trouble now. We're stuck in this goo. We'll never get out. Well, what can we do? We know, rumbles a voice from the swamp. Ooh. Could it be a crocodile? I'm not sure. Let's find out. The crocodiles. Five little monkeys all shout. One crocodile says, we'll help you get out. Aw, helpful. I love it. More crocodiles rise. From the wet swampy goo. We'll push this old car. But you must push too. They kind of look like they're scared. <laughs> the monkeys will all quake. It means they're shaking. What 
they say isn't true, they'll eat us for supper. Oh, what can we do? I know, says one little monkey. What could they do? They're kind of scared of the crocodiles, but the crocodiles want to help them. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, crocodiles, she calls. I heard you were strong, but if you need our help, I must have heard wrong. We're strong, roar the crocs. We're the strongest by far, and we can push anything, even a car. Oh, she kind of tricked them into pushing it themselves. So they puff and they pant and they look very ill, but they push that old car to the top of the hill. Then one monkey whispers, we're still in a stew. If they don't go home now, what can we do? I know, says one of the monkeys, says, says one little monkey. Hmm. Maybe they could sell it to the crocodiles. Oh, look at, there's mama sleeping in the house and the crocodiles are worn out. It says, hmm. poor crocs, they say the monkeys, how tired you are. You'll never walk home. What you need is a car, our car. Car, the crocodiles buy it. They pay with a check. Then climb right inside. We can use this, we can use this old wreck. Let's see, gives them a little push and they're on their way. <laughs> Probably back down the hill to the swamp. The monkeys all run to tell mama their tale. You might have been eaten. She was turning quite pale. We know, say the monkeys, we're lucky it's true, but we did sell the car. Can we buy one that's new? <laughs> she can't believe it. The five little monkeys and mama go shop for a fancy new car with a convertible top. Looks nice. And the crocodiles, they really like their old heap. It's such a fine car for a long summer's Hmm. I don't know. What do you think? Let's see what they used it for. For a long summer <laughs> sleep. Like sunbathing on it. <laughs> In the swamp. Yeah, they are in their new car. I like this story because it talks about problem solving and um, the monkeys never give up and they try different things and um, they're successful at the end. And I like that about this story. Bye.